Bendición, hola, fíjate, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Um, if it's your first time here, I am El Conquistador, and you're going to learn something new today. If you are not new and you have subscribed, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for checking out my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I make sure to comment on everybody's uh, comments, and uh, you do not go unnoticed. So thank you so much for the love and the support. My sub's going up. Keep it going. Um, I wanted to do a song. It was not requested. Um, I do have a, a Canto Espiritual from uh, Seven Sancista Seven Crossroads. I did not forget about you, but I'm thinking about how to do it um, because like to do a Canto Espiritual, I was thinking about doing one for San Lazaro, but uh, there's just so many words. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. So I want to do a song for Yewa. Yewa means uh, mother of character. She is the daughter of Ududua. She is the queen of the cemetery. Oya is not the queen of the cemetery. Uh, Yewa is the queen of the cemetery. The cemetery is made up of three Orishas, three women. Um, Oya, who is Ajabaiku, queen of death, uh, but she's the, the gatekeeper of the cemetery. She's not inside. She's the marketplace and the gateway of the cemetery. Um, and then Oba, the, uh, the legitimate wife of Chang'o is the grave digger. And then Yewa, um, owns the cadavers and she, she represents the decay, the literal decay, maggots and worms of the, the corpse of body in the ground. Oba puts the dirt over it, but Yewa represents the, uh, the body decaying. And then Oricha Oko, everything goes back into the earth, but the cemetery that department is made up of three individuals, Oya, Oba, and Yewa. Um, so yeah, don't get it twisted. So I want to do a song for Yewa, because I love doing songs for the more obscure Orishas, okay? Um, so like always, I sing it once, I sing it slower, and I have my notes, my source, I got my book, John Mason, Songs for the Selected Heads. And um, and then I'll sing it one last time. And any comments, be sure to uh, ring the notification bell and uh, subscribe and comment for more uh, what other reasons you want to hear. Okay, let's do this. So, song for Yewa. Yeah, well, you can do a close-up of this one. So, it just starts off like this. Aye tola oku aye, aye tola oku aye. Ye ye unko ye ye oma ye ye unko ye ye oma ye walo fini ye walo fini ye walo fini oku a ye. It's at regular speed. I'm gonna sing it slower now. Aye tola oku a ye aye tola oku a ye. Ye ye o unko, ye ye o ma. Ye ye o unko, ye ye o ma. Ye wa lo fini, ye wa lo fini, ye wa lo fini o ku a ye. Okay. Um, so it, it's a long one. It is. It's uh, It takes a while to get used to. Um, again, the lyrics, the English transition, English translations. And all the lyrics are down in the description box below. And I always make it a point that what I present here in my videos is how it's actually heard. And in the description box below, it's how it's actually spelled the more formalized part. But how you hear everything phonetically is what I present. Because um, there is a difference between how something is spelled formally and spoken formally versus how it's actually said. Um, so over here, uh, we have three... Um, points that I want to make known. Well, I already mentioned this one that uh, there's two ways to spell it Yewa versus Yegua. Uh, they both mean mother of character. The difference between the two, sometimes you'll see two G's instead of one G. The emphasis being on the first Ye. It's not Yewa. Her name is not Yewa. It's not Yegua. It's Yewa. It's Yegua. The G and the W, it's just an accent thing with Spanish. A lot of times, you know, you hear. Um, uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but the W in Spanish a lot of times sounds like a, um, a G, you know, like an example for, uh, uh, agua, um, agua yemaya, agua, 
A W A is a word in Lukumi, but a lot of people will say agua like water. So agua, agua, yewa, yewa. Not a big deal. So the two main points points I want to make is Abilona, instead of saying Ayetola Oku Aye, Abilona says Layetola Oku Aye. And last little Ross, he says Ayetola Loku Aye. So they add Abilona, they add an L uh, and to Laye, and Lazarus Ross adds an uh, L to, instead of Oku, he says Loku. Um, the difference between like Aye and Laye is Aye means world, and Laye means owner of the world. To see an L before a word is to denote ownership of something. Uh, there's a difference between owner and possessor. Oni, O N I, means possessor. Onilade, owner of the crown. Um, uh, Olokun, Olo, Okun, owner of the of the ocean. So the L is short for Olo, O L O. So instead of saying uh, Olaye or Oloaye, it's Laye. So it's just saying owner of. That's all it's saying. It's not a big deal. It doesn't make a difference. In the book, it says this. Abilona says layetola. In the book, it says ayetola. In Abilona, they say layetola. As Lazaro Rossi says ayetola, but he adds an L. Oku, loku. It's not a big deal. Just making you guys aware of it. Um, second, uh, this part over here at the bottom. Um, Lazaro Ross, he says yewalofini. Abilona says, Yewalo bini, yewalo bini, yewalo bini okuaye. And in the book, it also it ha includes both of them. Yewa, they say, Yewa obini instead of Yewalo bini. What's the difference? Um, bini means uh, first woman, obini, woman. So, lo bini, obini, take your pick, honestly. Um, there's a lot of little things like that in music where this an L is thrown in. Um, it all means something, no disrespect. You know, just keep it in mind where you hear an L, one person adds an L somewhere, another person may not. Whatever. But uh, but that's it. I'm going to sing it again at regular speed and I'm going to, you know, switch it up so you can see and hear the differences. So. Layetola <laughs> okuaye. Aye tola oku aye, I did both. Ye ye o unku, ye ye o ma. Ye ye o unku, ye ye o ma. Ye walo fini, ye walo fini, ye walo fini oku aye. Ye walo bini, ye wa o bini, ye wa o bini oku aye. Um, that is it. It's a, it is a long song, it, and there are, there are, I believe two or three more parts after this um if you enjoy if you enjoyed this song if you enjoyed hearing about yewa who's very much she's like oba um like osain like korikoto richoko insofar as they're usually the forgotten the more minor reaches everybody's concerned with obatala and yamaya chango chung but yewa very powerful very serious um woman uh orisha and um I just I enjoy doing the music that people are not used to hearing. Um, so that's it. If you enjoyed this, please comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell for more content. And I appreciate every single one of you. Mention, I just wanted to add that before I go, that my sister happens to be selling spiritually prepared candles uh, right here at her household for protection, psychic protection, and peace and calm within the household and within the mind of the individual that it's getting customly uh, prepared for. Uh, so definitely comment below if you're interested so I can connect you to. Um, uh, she will take down your information and customize your candle. And I will add that she will send you a video of the candle when it's prepared so that you know that you are uh, getting what you paid for. Um, it gets burned right here and uh, she has all your information. And um, yeah, comment below if you're interested. Again, uh, it's for protection, psychic protection, peace and calm uh, within the mind, specifically for the individual and or the household 
in which the candle is being prepared for. It's $35 um, and she, she's lowered her prices because she knows that a lot of people are not working and she's keeping that in consideration. Um, and yeah, just let me know and I can testify for myself that her shit does work. Uh, very, very strong um, spiritual uh, psychic individual. I, I don't know how to put in words right now, but she's very good. So uh, definitely let me know. Comment below. And thank you for watching. I love you. Stay safe out there. Bendición.